Hey guys, I'm LB, and this is a post-commentary, because my microphone was muted for this entire video. This is Monoportal Delivery by Creepix. Difficulty easy, I'm not able to make hard puzzles, RIP me. Heart 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 hardiness, negative 10%, my best creation so far. Even better than, uh, this link here, which links to gels and cubes and so much more. And even though it's got a parenthesis in the link, it still works. It still works, because that's how Steam works. Yeah, gels and cubes is so much more. Apparently, apparently monoporn delivery is better. Then you've got this weird dash equals dash thing. My attempt at a monoportal puzzle. I really like what it turned out to be, and I am really proud of it. Please leave feedback and enjoy. Alright, let's get started. And again, this is post-commentary you're listening to because I was an idiot and accidentally muted my mic for this whole video. But yeah, we don't have a portal gun right now, which is quite unusual. It's a monoportal map, so you'd wonder where the monoportal is. The humans. Are you as excited as I am? I'm actually less excited than you, GLaDOS. Unfortunately. So yeah, we got a portal thingy there. We push the button, and the thing comes out of the portal, and then the portal goes away. Not exactly a monoportal portal just yet, but it seems that this is just a little tutorialization chamber that introduces us to the fact that we don't have a portal gun. Personally, I don't really think that that sort of tutorialization chamber is necessary. I think you could just skip right to the meat of things. But, uh, yeah. And this is teaching us that the lasers can come out of the portals as well. Actually, no, that's the speed- that's the- the gel. I'm not actually sure why I did that, because there doesn't need to be any gel there. But this is the laser- oh, no, I pressed the wrong key button. That confused me again! <laughs> the first time I did that, I got confused about which button I pressed, and I did it again in the post-commentary. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what the gel's for, and I realize it's not much of a use to it, and then I realize I'm standing on this portal thing. I don't actually know the name of it, so... yeah, uh... It's like a portal... opener... portal field thingy? I don't know, I could look up the name. I should have looked up the name before doing this post-commentary, but I didn't, because I'm lazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yes, so let's use the faceplate, press the button, ta-da! Door open! Now we get to the actual puzzle, and uh, I just want to fizzle this cube just for fun, because why not? Goodbye, cube. Alright, there is our portal gun. Ta-da! It's a black portal gun. So now it's an actual mono portal puzzle. I think, honestly, the map should have started off with this puzzle. It would have been better, in my opinion, if it just started out here. So there you can see, the, through glass, the funnel. And I wish you could see everything through glass. It would be nice if, behind the buttons, you could see behind glass what the button activated. I mean, the signage you used was definitely clever, and I definitely think it's a good indicator of what the button does, but it would have been better if you could just look behind glass and see exactly what the button activates. So here I am just getting gel everywhere, for the heck of it. Because, you know, might as well get gel everywhere. That's fun, right? And this is just a return path. We can't open the door from this side. I was commenting about how bright it is because of the lights there. But yeah, nice little return path. And I noticed here that I missed these portal services earlier, so I need to uh, get gel on them. And actually, eating the gel here is actually a bad idea, because it makes it so much harder for me later in the map, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, so, let's switch to the funnel. As you can see, some of the gel gets sucked up to the funnel, and so the whole time I'm playing, I'm slightly thinking about that in the back of my mind, without ever talking about it. But yeah, that- that was something that I noticed. It was a possibility in my head, but, uh, I didn't actually do anything with that. And so I was wondering what that portal service on the ground was for, but it's- it's cause you can reverse the funnel, I just don't notice it until later. Whee! Let's bounce across and grab this cube. And I couldn't figure out if that signage was supposed to go to the dropper, or if it's going to this weird discolored part of the wall here. It turns out it does go to the discolored part of the wall, and there's a reason the wall is discolored. It's cause it opens up, in case you couldn't guess. Here, I'm noticing this laser catcher, and we're trying to figure out where a laser is, because I have not seen a laser or a button for a laser. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to go there. And I'm like, where- where is the laser? Where do I get a laser? How does LB get laser? Laser? Are you there? No, you're not there. Are you over there? Let's go check over there. Oh, you're there! Look at that. Didn't even see that, yeah. For some reason, I didn't notice either of the buttons up there, and then when I saw the laser button, I didn't see the other button right next to it. You know, the one to the left there? 
I just, yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I did not do a good job of using my eyes today in this map. But yeah, so the laser opens the doors there, and I realize that I have to go back up to the top to bounce across over there to see what's up there. I have to use the return path, I have to use the funnel again. I have to get back over there, blah 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 blah. That could probably be shortened a little bit if you had, like, a lift to put the player up here. It's not necessary, but it is, like, a nice convenience. Ta-da! Bouncing across. I almost didn't make it there. I was worried about the little last little bit there where not enough gel. But yeah, now we're across here, and I'm seeing these portal surfaces, and I'm seeing those, and I'm seeing this hole, and I wanna see what the hole leads to. So I try to jump, and I miss. But the platform catches me and lifts me up to the hole anyway. And it turns out it's just the return path, so I don't wanna go there just yet. That time I made the jump. But yeah, so we actually need some repulsion gel on the ground there. And I'm trying to figure out how to do that, because there's no obvious way. If you put a portal there, the walls close, because the laser is no longer activating the laser catcher. Yeah, like that. And, uh, if you- in order to- you, you can't actually go through the portal you place, of course, because, uh, all the portals, they have death grills behind them, so it doesn't matter anyway. You know what, I actually just realized, I'm not sure why some of these portal surfaces have grating in front of them, and some of them don't. Like, those have grating, and I don't really understand why, because there's literally no reason when you can't go through any of the portals anyway. You never get a dual portal device in this map, so... Uh, strange little inconsistency there. And here I'm, I'm messing with the, the platforms, because you can't activate both of them at the same time, and I wanted to try and activate both at the same time. Yeah, that activates the Edgeless Safety Cube spawner. And so I'm looking at the funnel, and I'm looking at the gel button, and I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. And I'm pretty sure I broke this part of the map. Because, uh, what I did was, <laughs> um, a bit of a ninja move, almost. And also, I just now noticed that button. Yeah, that's why I'm zooming on that button, because I just noticed it. It took me forever to notice the laser button, and then it took me forever to notice the button right next to it. Like I said, I'm not very observant sometimes. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out if I need to use the funnel in any capacity to do what I need to do, and I probably did. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I did need to suck some gel in the funnel, but the thing is, the funnel length is so short that I don't think I would have had enough time to do anything like that. And besides, once I jump across, it, yeah, it just gonna work. So yeah, I, I try this. I don't get enough momentum, so I control Z, and we're gonna we're gonna try this one more time. And this time, I get enough distance. Yeah, look at that. And I make a joke about how that being clearly what we're supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure I broke the map there. I actually don't know what I was supposed to do there, to be honest. And this is where getting the gel here was a completely bad idea. Because they keep bouncing me off because it got gel on the side of the step there. And I keep trying to jump up and the step just keeps bouncing me away from it. So finally I just jump over it like that. <laughs> so... We go back across... La -dee -da -dee -da. Takes a while, jump up here, and let's test what this button does. Bam! Changes the, the direction of the funnel, and you can toggle it. Very nice. I always enjoy a good toggle button. So yeah, we open that again, we need to jump across, and, uh... I figure that what I need to do... is, uh... Oh yeah, I've already got the jail there. I forgot, I left my portal there. Yeah, I knew what I was doing back then! Yeah, I knew what I was doing. Past me knew what they were doing. But post-commentary me did not know. I forgot already. I'm forgetful whether or not I'm recording. <laughs> right, so now I've got the Edgeless Safety Cube, and I see where it needs to go. And I realize that that's what reversing the funnel is for. Because, uh, I thought that reversing the funnel didn't have a purpose, or that I broke the map or something, but no. Clearly reversing the funnel is for getting the Edgeless Safety Cube where it needs to go. And so I try- I'm considering storing it in the- in the portal there, but I realize that'd be a bad idea. Instead, I just try and get it to sit still, and I actually get lucky, and look at that! Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. There it sits still. Third try. Third try is the charm. So now I have to go back through the return path, and I have to go get the funnel again. From here, it's pretty easy. 
yeah, we just need to get back over here, and then pick up the edge of the safety cube into the funnel, and then when we go up here to the exit, we just need to place our portal there. And actually, I decided I want to bring the cube with me, just in case we need it. I thought that maybe, just maybe, we might need a cube past the exit door as a sort of little added bonus, but nope, you don't. Yeah, you reverse the funnel, and the edge of the safety cube is already oriented the correct way to just go right into the edge of the safety cube receptacle. Ta-da! So, then I stand here and I talk about the map, uh, pretty much say things that I've already said. I think the first tutorial area could be skipped, you don't need it. You can just jump straight into the main map. And, uh, a few other comments that I've already got, uh, said in this post-commentary. Sometimes post-commentary makes it easier to get my thoughts straight. Other times, not so much. But, uh, yeah, definitely a better Creepix map, in my opinion. Better than some of the previous ones I've played. And I was talking about getting the stuff behind glass here, because the funnel's already behind glass, which is nice, but I want everything else to be behind glass as well, so that you can see what you're activating rather than just using signage. Come on, past me. I've already covered all this stuff, but you don't know that because I'm from the future. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so now much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!